Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm gonna do a current events lesson with you right now. I'm just recording this for a second time because something happened to the last recording. So I'm gonna try this again. So we're doing current events. So we're gonna watch a news story and then we're going to complete this page about it. So let's watch a news story. It's about two and a half minutes long. So let's look. The nation of Japan is a little smaller than the U.S. state of California, but with 125 million people, the Asian country has more than three times the population of the American state, and millions of them are concentrated in the capital city of Tokyo. It is here that you will find what's believed to be the world's busiest crosswalk, a place that as many as 3,000 people cross at one time, at least when there's not a pandemic. And that's where CNN 10 contributor Chris James is visiting today. Chris. Hey Carl, with so many of us unable to travel right now due to coronavirus restrictions, my list of dream cities to travel to is getting longer and longer by the day. Today, I want to tell you about one of the cities on my list, specifically the legendary crosswalk that has come to symbolize the chaotic vibrancy of urban life. Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. You're looking at Shibuya Crossing, often referred to as the world's busiest crosswalk. It can often look to be a dizzying sight thousands of people walking in different directions, commuters, tourists, and locals alike just trying to get to where they're going. But for many people, the controlled chaos of Shibuya's scramble is a visual representation of the efficient madness of this cutting edge city. Here, 10 lanes of traffic and five major crosswalks converge with the backdrop of cascading neon skyscrapers illuminating the sky above. Although making your way through this crosswalk can feel like a whirlwind, there's one landmark that serves as a loyal stabilizing force, the statue of Hachiko the dog. Hachiko was in fact a real dog, the most famous dog in all of Tokyo, who would meet its owner at the Shibuya station after he got out of work every day in the 1920s. After his owner died unexpectedly, the dog continued to visit the station every day for nearly a decade. His loyalty now commemorated by the statue and legions of visitors taking selfies every single day. The crossing has been made famous around the globe in photographs and movies, like the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. I still remember watching that movie in theaters and hearing the crowd gasp during that iconic scene of the car drifting through the throngs of people crossing the road. In recent years, the area has seen some significant development especially in advance of the Tokyo Olympics, which has been rescheduled for July 2021. But with COVID-19 still a very real threat, the jury is still out on whether or not the games will actually take place as planned. Okay, so that's the end of the story. Now let's go ahead and go to the worksheet. So you'll find the worksheet here on the Google Classroom under Classwork and Life Skills. It's current events symbol supported worksheet. So you click on that, you can open it with Cami. That's where I will be completing it. Okay, so let's work on the worksheet. So first write your name. Your first name on the top where it says name. Okay, and then we'll answer the questions. When was the news? Okay, did it say specifically when that story was taking place? No, it was just um talking about it um, ongoing kind of it's not a specific date but it was posted yesterday so we will circle Tuesday because yesterday was Tuesday and then we will write the date for yesterday because that's when it was on, posted online so that's the date we will say so it's January so it's 1 19 2021 and where did the news happen did it happen here in California, locally in California or in your city of Reedley or where, whatever town you live in? No. National, so did it take place in the United States? No, it did not. Okay, did it take place in the world? Yes, it was in another country, so we'll circle world. Oops, okay world and where exactly in the world. Do you remember what they said? That crosswalk is in Tokyo, Japan, which is another country in Asia. It's way over here. Okay, so 
far away from us, kind of. All right, so what was the news about? Was it about people? Maybe politics, not really. Technology, not really. Animals, well, it wasn't about the animal, but they did talk about the animal. Remember the dog statue? They talked a little bit about the dog, but it wasn't really about that. Health, sports, or food? I think we'll say it was about people and all the people that cross and cross lot. Okay, so people who cross the world busiest crosswalk. That is a lot of people. They said up to 3,000 people in one crosswalk. Could you imagine? Okay. was the news about? Was it about political figures, celebrities, athletes, employees, student, parents, or other? Well, they were talking about all different kinds of people who use that crosswalk. So we'll just say other. We'll circle other. It was about people. So people who use the crosswalk. Okay. And how did today's news make you feel? Was it a happy story, sad, excited, angry, or worried? Or any of those? It was a little interesting seeing that. I never knew that there was such a busy crosswalk. I guess we could say happy. It was a, it was a good story, I think. How about you? What do you think? Okay, so that is the current events worksheet for today. Okay, so go ahead and watch the video and complete your worksheet and I will see you later. Bye guys.